So here's a question for you. How much thought have you really given to the water that comes out when you turn on your tap or, or even where it goes afterwards? Well, we're going to dive into that process as we continue our Greatest Lake series with our very own Matt Wentz. Yeah, guys, uh, this one's fascinating. Now, we're lucky here in Northeast Ohio because many of us participating and benefiting from something called Lake Erie. It's a very important water yes. cycle, right? We get our drinking water from it. And that's where everything ends up going. I got an inside look at the people and processes that make it all flow. This is called the, uh, the raw screen building. This is where the raw water comes in from the lake and it's now inside the plant facility. Here inside the Garrett Morgan water treatment plant in Cleveland, an incredibly important task is underway. Very typical right there. Not a whole lot of uh, debris. Lake uh, Erie right now is uh, pretty calm. Cleveland Water's four treatment plants. They work day and night through a unique process to remove dirt, bacteria, and chemical impurities from untreated water. It's all pumped in directly from Lake Erie. So right now we're in the, uh, the flocculation uh, building and what's going on here is some of the chemicals that we've added up to this point are causing particles to bump together. This is where we take uh, lake water essentially and put it into a state where it can be readily filtered. Turning it into potable drinking water for nearly one and a half million Northeast Ohioans. We have this amazing resource here. No one else in the world has these five great lakes like we have. And the quality of water that we get is unrestricted. Water quality manager Scott Mogling explained that the treatment systems here are still rooted in concepts and structures used nearly a century ago. And we're now we're entering into what we call the sedimentation process. All these particles that we've created are now growing and they're big enough and it's very slowly moving in the direction that we're walking and these particles are dropping out of water um, by gravity. But advancements in technology and innovation are already showing impacts on the future of water quality. This is where we do a lot of our high-end analyses. Helping spot potential challenges to water systems like algal blooms and PFAS or forever chemicals. We can test for pharmaceuticals, uh, some organics that might be out in Lake Erie. We're fortunate we've not had any detections, not only in the finished water, we've not had any detections in the raw water. It's the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District's job to keep those kind of harmful contaminants from going back into the lake. Plant Superintendent Bob Bonnet showed me around the Easterly Wastewater Treatment Plant in Cleveland. So these are the aeration tanks. There are four passes for each of the eight aeration tanks. Okay. And then the wastewater comes in contact with this mixed liquor, liquor I referred to as the activated sludge. And that's what then moves out of pass four and goes over to the final settling tanks. Got it. The district's three plants are constantly processing wastewater from multiple sources, not only from our own sinks and toilets. We have heavy thunderstorms. You're treating that wastewater because there's junk on the roads, there's garbage going in, there's everything going in the storm drain. Combination of the sanitary sewage, and then when there is stormwater runoff, it goes into the same sewer, the combined sewer, and all that flow does come to the plant. Between 80 and 400 million and gallons of water are treated every single day. Well, these are the chlorine contact tanks, so we've added sodium hypochlorite prior to these. These plants, too, are where historic facilities... The original conduit from the 1930s that runs underneath that return sludge pump building and runs along that building. Meet modern technology. So these are our sodium hypochlorite storage tanks. They're 18,000 gallon capacity, each tank. Both organizations working in tandem to ensure we can enjoy clean water from lake to tap and back again. Water is our quality of life. Life needs water, and if we've got a great source of water, you know, you'd like to think that uh, that has an impact not just on the quality of life, but also economics. It's always in the back of my mind um, why I'm able to go in the water and why everybody who's recreating has the ability to do that, and it's because of the work that we're doing here. Now, there are so many ways that we can help make this job a little easier. First, don't litter. All that trash eventually makes its way back into our lake through our waterways and only flush what you're supposed to flush, all right? TP and well, you know, uh, no wipes, medications, anything like that need to go down your toilet because all that goes back into our water source. And guys, this whole thing, we spent a couple days actually touring these plants and learning about, you know, just not just our drinking water, but everything that they treat to make it Lake Erie clean going back out. It's unbelievable what a source of water we have in Lake Erie. And we're so lucky. It, the, yeah. the water is so clean 
to begin with. And I mean, what a treasure, because people don't have this across the country, across right. the world, and we do. Mm -hmm. That was a very good story, Matt Wentz, bringing us Thank inside. You. Thanks, Elsie. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, good stuff.